What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Well, y'all have been asking for an update on the 450 for a minute now, and I haven't probably made a video about that truck in a few years, maybe almost two years or so. And uh, there it is behind me. So I wanted to, uh, to go ahead and give you an update on my 450 as far as parts that's broken, uh, things that have gone through, you know, whatever, everything. I kind of touch, you know, from a, you know, front to back basis on everything. So, uh, the last tr uh, truck video I made, you guys know when I had all three of them with the 450, the Denali, and my, uh, Mega Cab. Well, this one's just all about the 450. So let me tell you, uh, in the almost three years of ownership now that I've had this thing, I have never had it back to the dealer since not for anything nothing no emissions no nothing now other people have not been so lucky uh as far as things that have broken nothing has actually broken on this no interior pieces have really fallen apart nothing we all know the dreaded tire wear of the 450s which y'all can see here where they were on the outside yeah you swap them back and forth and everything but you know the contis the drive tires on the front they're just not perfect so once those wear out i'm not gonna pay to replace them when they're not broken yet but once they wear out i'll throw some you know drive tires whether it be some michelins or whatever whatnot the backs i have rotated as you can see and they are looking just fine I have uh, coming up on, I think it's 35 or 40,000 miles, and almost all of those miles, maybe 5,000 of them or so, have not been towing. Uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, 5,000 or so has not been towing. Other than that, the truck has been absolutely 100% flawless. So as far as the interior and everything, we'll go in here. You see, interior, no cracks. Almost no cracks or anything, even on the seat. One little piece or so right here. We could start to see a little bit, but nothing even on the side bolsters, nothing. Now, this is me nitpicking, and I know I may not be 100% on this, and others may do it too. And it just may be a flaw because of the heated steering wheel over time. Now, the Ram and such has a hard piece here, and like many other uh, steering wheels have a hard piece here. I elected to get the entire full leather wheel. If I really grab it really hard, just right here, I can move the leather on the wheel. Now, I don't know if the glue has let go or that's just how they come, but I haven't really been able to feel it on many other parts of the wheel. Um, but that also may be because that's where I grip it most of the time. But my truck technically still is under warranty. I just don't take it in because it is tuned and I just don't want them messing with my tune. The other thing uh, that has, and it's occasional, it doesn't happen all the time, is that this mirror, the left one, sometimes will go slower uh, or may get stuck halfway through and then I just have to reset it to go back in and out. Now, it could just be the gears need to be lubricated inside there, could be the motors dying, I'm not 100% sure. But other than that, that is it. Now, would I consider those problems with the truck? No, because nothing's really broken and nothing has broken. Radio's been good. Infotainment's been good. Transmission's been good. Regular oil changes. I go based off of what the uh, intelligent monitor says in there. And I usually change it about 20%. Um, back seats and everything's good. Stereo's good. Uh, I've idled this thing all night and... It has been flawless uh, ever since day one. Now, I have looked inside and checked out my brakes uh, to see where they uh, sit uh, upon that. And they're probably, I'd say, about 80% still. So these brakes, now, I don't know how much they cost. I'm sure they're not cheap. But these things last a pretty long time. And when I'm towing with my little trailer that's, you know, for one car or something like that, usually towing, like, one of my vets or something, uh... It, 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 you can't even tell that it's back there. The only time I really feel like I'm merely using the brakes is if I have to slam on them one or when I'm hauling the big race car trailer and that thing weighs, you know, over 20,000 pounds and still it never has a hard time stopping. And I expected my front brake pads to be worn out and such, maybe my rear pads. I've tipped. 
rotated the tires every 10,000 miles or so and everything is fine. I have absolutely no complaints. Uh, as far as the wear, perfectly even wear, rotors don't even have lips or anything in them. Now you're going to say, well, that's because you're towing all the time. You're never pressing the brakes. Well, not necessarily. I've driven this thing across the country almost three times already, and I expected to do a little bit more maintenance on it than I have. Besides just the normal oil changes, fuel filters, and stuff like that. I've kept an eye on to see if it's eating coolant or anything like that. Everything is flawless. Uh, I will still tell you, just like I said in my last comparison video between my uh, 3500 Mega Cab, my Denali, and this, this is still my most favorite truck. The only thing I just don't like is, and again, it's nothing against the truck because it's doing what it's designed to do. It's just a big ass, you know, and it's long because I have the long back because I put it with the gooseneck. Sometimes it's just a pain in the butt to get in and out of places, you know, with the big hips and stuff like that. So it's got a big ass on it. And other than that, that's about it. So sometimes and the most of the time I drive my uh, uh, Mega Cab around because it's a single rear wheel, even though it's a 3500, but it's a single rear wheel. And it works just a little bit easier to get around if I'm not in one of the cars. But other than that, not one check engine light, no hiccups or anything like that. And I plan to keep this thing for a long period of time. I've even looked at the uh, dreaded CP4 and again, no signs of wear, no issues. As long as you uh, keep some good fuel in this tank and don't let it go dry, you, you, you should be okay. I never let mine go dry. And I, every now and then I do some fuel additive. I primarily use hot shots, a little bit of Stynodyne every now and then, but mostly hot shots and it's kept this thing pretty good. Uh, I have uh, also lowered the uh, thermostat in it to a 160 that definitely has cut the temps down it has made me lose about a half a mile per gallon or so because diesels tend to like the uh, combustion to be much hotter to be a little bit more efficient but it also keeps my engine oil transmission and, and a few other temps that i have logged under the hood uh, at a much lower rate for it to just maybe have a little bit of longevity but it does consume just a tad bit amount of a little bit more amount of fuel but this is going to consume a little bit more fuel than your traditional one, be, uh, traditional Super Duty because of the tall gears in the rear, which this is as a 430 as opposed to the 350s. I think there's 390s and 370s. I can't remember. But for anyone that's going to try and order a 450, I still highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's definitely still my most favorite truck I've ever owned. I still drive it a lot. I still tow with it a lot. Anytime I'm really doing towing, I don't even really tow with the... Uh, uh, the mega cab anymore because of the lifted and off-road tires. This thing is absolute beast. Uh, that's only, like I said, the only time I don't drive is when I'm sometimes going around daily and stuff. It's just because solely, it's just, it's just sometimes hard to navigate in smaller areas. But that's really the only downside to the truck. Other than that, I highly recommend it. Order one. You guys will love it. It'll be the best, uh, best truck you probably ever had. Uh, as you see, I have the older version with the smaller screen, but now the newer one has a Sync 4, and it's, and it's even better. I've checked it out. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you guys like this video on the Super Duty, and uh, I guess we'll uh, see you for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Peace.